The spotlight is back on lawmakers to take action after that deadly shooting in Texas. Washington, D.C. correspondent Trevor Shirley today, the latest from Capitol Hill. I think it certainly feels different right now than it has ever before. Christian Heine of Brady says that's because mass shootings seem to be happening with more frequency. Since August, three major mass shootings have killed 39 people and left dozens injured. Lawmakers just can't ignore it. They can't move on because every time that they try to move on or try to move on to the next issue, another shooting takes place. The House Judiciary Committee was supposed to meet today to get a jump start on legislation aimed at background checks, red flag laws, and other gun control measures. But that meeting's now been pushed back for a week because of Hurricane Dorian. But those fighting gun violence are hopeful this time lawmakers will have to take action. They're not going to be able to move on from this until they meaningfully address it. After the shootings in El Paso and Dayton, President Trump signaled he was on board with strong universal background checks. We have tremendous support for really common sense, sensible, important background check. I think we can get something really good done. But on Saturday, the president again backed away from that stand. For the most part, as strong as you make your background checks, they would not have stopped any of it. It's a back and forth gun violence prevention advocates say has gotten old. Frankly, the American people aren't going to stand for that kind of bait and switch. Congress returns to Washington next week, with many hopeful some action on gun violence will finally happen. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley.